Welcome fellow Fusioners, Kirit King here, and today we are playing Cyberdarks with a little bit of Desperado and a little bit of Predaplant. So basically, Cyberdarks are uh, usually focused around having Edge searched out by your cannon. Cannon will equip to your Edge, and Edge can attack directly for 1200 points of damage every time, or 24 if you don't use the direct attack clause. Uh, the whole deck works around three different strategies. You have your, or mainly two, but one is a third option. You have your Desperado Barrel Dragon. If one of your Dark Machines is destroyed by Battle Card Effect, you can summon it to your field. Then during the battle phase, you can toss up three coins and destroy that many phase-up monsters, but you can't battle the turn you do that effect during either player's battle phase. Uh, we are running Klyma. We can fuse with any of our Dark Monsters in our hand or field. And he will summon out your Chimera Felicia. Very strong fusion monster. I'll go over those in, in a moment. And then we have our future fusion to fusion five of our cyber darks into our cyber darkness dragon. Very strong, very cool boss monster. Very hard to get out because you need future fusion. Uh, we are running the extra horn because if we search uh, discard cannon for our edge, it basically leaves it where we cannot uh, fusion summon. So we have it where we now have the option to do discard to summon, summon edge. And we still have five in deck. We are running Switcheroo, so if we actually get to the point where we draw too many Cyber Darks, and we still want to use our Future Fusion, we can shuffle back a Cyber Dark and possibly not have our deck loss of Cyber Darks. So basically, uh, the Cyber Dark, this dragon, will equip any or equip one dragon or machine monster from your graveyard and gain attack equal to its original attack. So you can equip your the Des Desperado Barrel or any of your smaller dragons. Besides that, we are running Climera Felicia for our Clima, because Clima can fuse using Hand or Field to summon it with a Dark and itself. And it has the effect where you can uh, basically target a level 7 or lower, banish it. Also, when you battle, or they battle you, a uh, monster, this will gain a 1,000, they will lose a 1,000 attack. And then the cool thing about this deck is if your Felicia dies, during your next standby phase, you can search out a fusion spell card. Future Fusion is a spell card we only have one of, but you can search it out with your Chimera Felicia, making the deck a lot more consistent for your Cyber Darkness Dragon. We have other options in case you draw too many Cyber Darks. You can do uh, Panzer Dragon with one machine, one Dark, so you can use uh, literally your Cyber Dark uh, Cannon and any other Cyber Dark for Dragon and Machine, or we have Mud Dragon of the Swamp in case you run really out of options for that one. Because uh, you can use dark and... Actually, same option. You can use uh, dark, plant, and machine. I believe that works. Yeah. Same attribute, different type. Yeah, yeah that's, that's correct. So you can do my dragon with, uh, for example, Kaima, Kai and then something else like an edge or horn. So you have options, and your future fusion is never dead in this strategy. So it is really good overall. It's just a plus one when you draw it, when you search it. Is really good consistency. I'm running my uh, six favorite back row, or my two favorite back row, six of, being this chain, negate a uh, monster's effect for uh, as long as cards in the field, and they cannot declare attack. Uh, if this card's destroyed, if that monster's destroyed, this card's destroyed as well. Bad aim, if your opponent activates a card effect, target one card in the field other than that and destroy it. It works really well for stopping a lot of playmaking uh, strategies, so it's very powerful overall. Uh, Panzer Dragon, when he's destroyed, you can destroy a card in the field if you don't know. And Mud Dragon can basically, uh, your opponent can't target this card with, uh, or, or monsters, this, uh, target this card, or monsters on the field with the same attribute of, the, of this card. And then you can change the clearing attribute, and this card's attribute comes to that one until the end of the turn. So you can make it dark and protect your other dark type monsters, basically. Uh, but the deck basically is to try to get Cyber Darkness Dragon out, and has some other win conditions too, is basically how I designed it. Uh, Switcheroo is not the most consistent, but it's so we can still have a higher chance of getting Cyber Darkness Dragon. If you don't like the skill, you can play other skills, but it's really good overall. Alright, well that's the deck. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what kind of decks you want to see in the future. I appreciate you guys. That's the deck. Now the gameplay. Already going second. Ew. So we've got cannon, double edge, confusion with an edge we don't want to use. 
We could fusion with our cannon if we don't want to use too much. And possibly try to fusion summon with uh, future fusion. Nope, we drew edges, never mind. That limits our options. So we're going to use our cannon. Why not at this point? We, we have so many in hand. I'm going for horn. Let's see what horn play. Horn attack. Yes, do it. I'd go for the, um... Oh, no, no response. That's actually scary. I'd go for the fusion, but I can't see what he has anyway. So we'll send more cannons. So we have them for our edges. <laughs> Ooh, that's good damage. That is good damage. What is that back row? I'm more worried about I'm more worried about the back row because I don't know what it is. Cause there's no like there's no um either has toggle off or there's no responses to what he has right now. So he's got two cards in hand, a plague spreader on the field in the grave. He can't just summon plague spreader and protect himself because I have piercing. Infernity. Uh, I'm not getting that. I have no reason to let him use that effect. As far as I'm concerned, that is Infernity Break. And so I don't want this in the grave. And I don't want him Synchro Summoning if I can help it. He's going to use Plague Spitter now. I'm forcing it out. And the reason why I did that is he didn't get it back for free. He had to get rid of a card in hand. He'll draw the same card... And, oof, he has to use something to get over me with our mateys. You can pop my guy, okay. That's fine. Hey, I get to switcheroo. <laughs> Plus I can banish his armadies on my turn, so. Is it card or? Card, so you can use Infernity Break on Infernity Break. That is, so let's fusion first. See if he gets any response of any sort. Alicia. No response. Spanish your Armides. Cool. Works for me. Uh, just battle. Yeah. Game. Cool. Well, uh... Alicia lifts bricks, and Horn actually did pretty well, so... Next game. Already going first. Seto Kaiba. Oh boy, blue eyes looking deck. Um, what's my play? I think I want to use cannon. I think I want edge. And do I fusion or do I? I think I want to. I don't want to show him too much, so I'm going to edge first. I don't want him. Uh, alternative evolutioning, and then popping my Felicia. I can always Fiendish Spirit Dragon, but if he switches out for Blue Eyes, it's a waste anyway. I'd rather him Spirit my Cannon. Hmm. Blue Eyes is annoying to verse. Um... No. <laughs> Use your other thing if you have it, but I'm not letting you get a free second summon and effect. What was I looking for? Oh, I was looking for, um... Uh, go into my options when I want. Nope, no skill I can see. Dragon Spirit of White. Oof. Sage. Really? You went for that one? I mean, if you went for the other one, you could just gone for game. I don't think he, I don't think he realized that, but cool. Now I summon. I'll <laughs> now because you popped my edge, I summon Desperado. Spirit Dragon. That's fine. 
It's not lethal, so I'll take it. I'm gonna just say that right there. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> so I can swing over his monster, no problem. Um, I think I want to use the skill uh, because I want to draw a possible fiendish chain, maybe. I think that's the plan. I can't banish your guy anyway. He's not level 7. Draw. Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. Attack, and yes. Yatta! <laughs> and he does not have a Ancients in the grave, which actually really hurts him. Master. Oh. Oh, this is good. This is where Bad Aim shines. Look at this. Look at this play. So use Master to get back, uh, Sage. Now watch this. This is disgusting. Nope. Pop the Master. No Sage effect. <laughs> Pass turn, yep. Ah, oh, Desperado. Well, what did I expect? Hmm. Does he have alternative in the grave? Let me see this. Chase Spirit of Whites. Oh, he does. That's a problem. Oh. Why? I don't... If you're watching this... I'm a little late in the season for hitting Cog. And... He summoned his Spirit White for no reason. When he could have summoned Alternative. And then pop my monster. Maybe not beating me this turn, but... You would have had a chance. Oh, well. I still won. Either way, I win that one, so. Next game. Going second. Ooh, rank up. Shadow game. Can I. Can I see Future Fusion? <laughs> Maybe I can search it this time. Is that a fusion play at least? I don't really want to use Desperados if I don't have to. Hey, um... Yeah, I'm using Desperado. <laughs> the reason being is he's probably going to have something like Drowning. And I'd rather have another way to fusion. Hopefully he just pops my guy. I'd prefer it if he just destroyed my monster. That way I can search future fusion. That'd be ideal. Well, oh, fingers crossed. Not drowning near force, please. Oh, Kiteroid. I can I can I can handle Kiteroid. Kiteroid is fun. Kiteroid is grand. So I don't think I want to summon any more monsters if I can help it. Oh, uh, I want to set that though. Even though I want future fusion, like... That's worth setting. 
Because if he uses one, I pop the other two, basically. That's, like, way too important. Which he will use them when he runs out of kite roid like cards. Ends his turn. No damage. Okay. No reason to discard. So just battle. Attack. Curse of Anubis. So we are going to double pop. Oh, he only one, one, one per one. My bad, I forgot about that. Oh well. We still get rid of a second card. Starlight Road. Huh. I was he expecting the verse for Starlight Road? Well, I won that. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get the fusion. Uh, I may come back to this deck later on. For some reason, we never drew it, and then they would never kill our Felicia. I'd always just win with it. <laughs> well, that's the deck overall. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what kind of decks you want to see in the future. I appreciate you guys. You can test the deck out yourself. Keep fusioning. Let's go Slash. Hush.